It all started when Lunarbird said there was a traitor in us. At first, we just assumed that he was talking about clutching, but Lunarbird shouldn't clarify that it was referring to someone else. After that, it wasn't long before everyone started to feel paranoid at each other. Rookie told me he was feeling really stressed about everything, but I had an idea to help him cheer up. The night before, I had found a killer and meditated in the ski village, so I asked him if they could meditate with Rookie to help him calm down. After they were done meditating together, Rookie decided to sleep in the book room with the killer. I just assumed that at some point when Rookie was asleep, the killer went back outside to meditate some more. When they were meditating, they saw a shiny penguin approaching. Immediately switched to them. Killer probably thought they were the traitor. They took their opportunity and... Killer probably thought they were doing the rest of us a favor. However... The shiny penguin question was actually Antarctic. But I said he had been director of the PSA and the EPF. During the trial, we only revealed that, that Aunt Aria was the director of the PSA, but the killer somehow knew that she was in charge of the EPF too. If I had to guess, Aunt Aria probably explained to the killer why she was wearing that to her final moments. After that, the killer buried her stick in the snow of the ski village, but the blood that was on it was still visible. Then the killer moved Antarctic's body to her igloo, where they burned her director gear from the fireplace, but a small scrap of it was left behind. That's exactly how Antarctic was killed. Isn't that right, Sensei?